welcome to Miss V's classroom and welcome into the series of videos about how to make Google Slides to be used in your uh, teaching experiences. We're not in COVID anymore. It's been many years since COVID, uh, but I still like to use Google Slides within my teaching experience and in my classes. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make this, this, I don't know which way I'm turning, how to make Bitmoji and how to add Bitmojis in your Google Slides. Bitmoji is a little avatar, a version of you um, that you can put into your virtual classroom. As you can see, I am here in my living room or pretend living room, and I've placed myself right here on the piano. And of course, there are many other things. There are instruments and there are my animals that are here in my Google Slides. Okay, um, let's get the show on the road and I will teach you how to utilize Bitmojis and how to place them in your Google Slides. Stick around. Before you actually start using Bitmojis, you need to have your Bitmoji app on your phone. I don't know if you can see it. It's a Bitmoji app that you can download on Google Play, whether you're on iPad or Android for phones. Um, once you download it, you can create your own avatar, and then you will be able to do the following thing. Okay, so you are right now in your Google search engine and you need to download the extension. I already have the Bitmoji extension downloaded on my computer, but before that I needed to download it on my phone. And then since you are already um, logged in on your Google um, account, you will be able to access and add the Bitmoji extension to your computer. Okay. Um, now, let's go back to our Google Slides. Last time we've learned how to make the Google Slides. Now I'm going to go to the one that is existing on my Google uh, Drive. This is my uh, Welcome to Miss V's Corner. This is one of the slides that I have made. And I am now going to put my Bitmoji into this slide. It is very simple. All you have to do, find your extension on top of your browser, you click on Bitmoji, and it opens. Now you have tons of pictures. You can add any one of them, but I'm going to uh, try researching and I'm going to type in pose. Once you click pose, there are many, many, many poses that come up. If, since we're using this for school, I'm going to use the one that's the most appropriate one. And I'm going to just simply drag it and paste it onto my Google Slides. And this is basically it. So what I'm doing right now, I'm cropping the sides of my Bitmoji. So there isn't any access space around my Bitmoji. Why? Because all of these are potentially linked to a website. And if I have access white space around when then when the students click on it, it won't take them to a particular web, web page. But this part will. So make sure that the sides are cropped. Make sure that the sides are cropped. All you do is just drag and crop. All we do is double click, drag, and crop. There we go. So this is your Bitmoji. Again, you will find the extension right here on top of your browser. You can also type in anything else. You can type it, Miss Vanya. That's my name. And you can then drag that one to your slide. 
and you magically appear on your Google Slides. Okay, so that's it. Super simple, super self-explanatory. So download Bitmoji app on your phone before you are able to use it on your Google Slides. Thank you. Have fun.